back with some more grimoire. Let's go. I'm glad I went and searched that place again. Even if I never wind up using that tinderbox. It's always always very possible. So if I recall correctly, we've got uh, some sort of puzzle to do with these Atlas guys, potentially. Potentially. Shelf puzzle. Okay. The access is guarded by Atlas's gaze. Where are they looking? Puzzling. Ah. And it just swings open like that, eh? Lanternia. It was surprisingly easy to track down Lanternia, or as historians call it, the Cursed Lantern. It's been several centuries now since it was found in the ruins of a castle in Prussia, firmly held by a skeleton curled up over it. Since then, Lanternia has been passed from one museum to another, sometimes as a true relic of history, sometimes as a mere curiosity. The fascinating thing about this lantern is that anyone who picks it up starts to experience headaches. The longer the holder keeps Lanternia close to them, the more violent the effects become. Vomiting, nosebleeds, dizziness and loss of balance, and even a case of bleeding eyes. When the last person to touch the lantern began experiencing hallucinations that almost drove her to suicide, it was decided to keep the object behind a thick glass case in a museum in England. The stupidity of mankind. Lanternia is a relic of the cosmos, charged with an infinitely powerful energy that no human can withstand. It gradually destroys everything that touches it and cannot contain it. However, I'd rather put that in the past tense. 
Lanternia seems to have lost all its cosmic energy after being locked up in England for so long. Not that I'm complaining. It was the only relic capable of destroying all my efforts to bring him here. I've managed to acquire Lanternia, which is now no more than a simple, slightly rusty lantern. As a precaution, however, I've locked it away in the cellar, in a room that contains nothing but this relic. No one should be afraid of Lanternia, now that it's hanging on a chain, but we cannot be too careful. Eh? So I have the Demon Core Lantern. Lucia Vanderman's diary, the creator of existence. Two months have passed since I first discovered the grimoire. Delving into its ancient pages, I've been able to learn secrets that would ordinarily be beyond human comprehension. But an unimaginable power emanates from it. A mysterious aura surrounds it and beckons me, and as I open it, the words it contains seem to swirl and the patterns draw themselves, until finally they form sentences and drawings that are simplified for the human mind, yet they are explaining intricacies that I can't tell whether it's magic or perfected science. The grimoire seems almost alive. As I turned a page, I discovered who it belonged to, the great Re'athanen. She who was born along with the universe, an unprecedented cosmic entity, companion of the creator of existence. During long chapters, Re'athanen would describe to me the extraordinary power of this creator of all things. From destruction comes life, from his will all things are born. He is the very embodiment of what we call God, a creator of immeasurable power. Even more than omniscience, he knows everything, for he is the origin of everything. We live only by and for his will. We die only by his judgment. But he is no God. He is the scientist. And we are his subjects, his experiments. We are but wretched beings compared to the immensity of the universe, mere particles of dust among those he has created and observes, particles of dust that are destroying themselves. A profound realization washed over me. It was time for him to reset it all. Salvation, if any, lay in the cessation of everything. Thanks to the grimoire and Riathanen's whispers, I can call this creator back within the universe. I cannot allow such precious knowledge to remain easily accessible to everyone. I will take the opportunity of the great library's renovation to make it the sanctuary of the human race's knowledge. Mundane and futile books shall find no place within its walls. Only those worthy will find a place in here. The great grimoire shall rightfully stand at its center, preserving its unutterable secrets for those who can truly comprehend its significance. Cool. That's an interesting take. Uh, but I wasn't really listening. I was a little bit worried because I muted my microphone and then realized, oh, I'm recording all of the audio through the microphone. So I'm worried I might have messed something up there. I might have to fix it in post. I unmuted part... I muted and then unmuted part way through uh, that note. Um, okay. So, we're 
backtracking all the way to the cellar. All the way back to the cellar. So we can get into that machine room. Then we can take the elevator and I don't know. Expecting physics stores right now. All right. Let's see if we get a monster encounter or no. In case the elevator ever gets stuck again, I have left the manual in the great library without Madam's knowledge. Do not attempt to repair the lever. Hmm. Do not attempt to repair the elevator without the manual. Do not touch the mechanisms if you don't know what you're doing. A few hours maintenance could turn into several days or even weeks of repairs. If you can't find the manual, come and find me. Don't mess around. The head mechanic. This guy takes his elevator very seriously. the shaft. Ah. Doors control. Okay, I've got that uh, elevator manual. Disable the automatic door lock. jumped straight into that. That might not have been uh, what I was supposed to do. Now I'm scared. Okay. Nope, oh, that's good. Once the chains have been unblocked, engage the pressure device. Lower the piston, which has risen... regulation.
redirect the flow. So begins our dark descent. thinking about we ignore references Markiplier doesn't exist figment of your imagination uh, it was a collective hallucination <clears throat> <clears throat> did I just get scared by something I wasn't looking What are you, claustrophobic? He's fine. Jeez. Hey, what's up? No high five? Lame. Yeah, you go and do your thing, I'll do mine. Lucia Vanderman's diary. The soul ritual. I've made great progress toward the ritual chamber. The hardest part was to find a receptacle powerful enough to replace the crystal on the second pedestal, where I discovered the grimoire. But I finally found it. The heart of my most fervent follower, and mine as the creator's intermediary. However, two final elements were essential for the ritual of calling the creator. A soulless body, and a pure heart, filled with love. As I wondered how to obtain all this, the answer formed itself on the pages of the grimoire. Riathanin could manifest herself to separate my soul from my body. At the end of all things, only the souls of the Creator's adepts would prevail. Will I be able to do such a thing? I closed the grimoire, a chill running down my spine. 
Could I truly sacrifice my humanity? My husband returned from war just a week ago. We cherished every moment together to make up for the time we lost. He was exhausted, but so happy to have me back, just like I was. However, the joy of our reunion was short, as he quickly started to notice changes in my behavior and in the castle. After a few seconds' hesitation, I finally told him about my discovery of the grimoire and the renovation of the great library. All the books had disappeared from the castle, except in the entrance hall to ensure that we could welcome our guests. I hoped he would understand the importance of my mission, and that he would stand by my side. Riathanen and the Creator must return to us, and if we can gain access to eternity, I don't want to do it alone. But my dear Elliot looked up at me with horror in his eyes. I hastened to explain to him the Creator's duty, the fate awaiting this dying universe while assuring him that we could survive it together. I understood in that instant that the pure, loving heart I needed was his. He insulted me, called me crazy, threw the grimoire to the ground, and stormed out of the castle, leaving me only a note. I've awaited his return for hours, then days in vain. As I was lying in my bed, tears streaming down my face, the grimoire opened and the soul separation ritual formed again on its pages. I looked at it for only a brief moment before making my decision. My body was turning black, and Rhea thought and explained that this was the Creator's blessing, facilitating the separation of my soul the more I consulted the pages. Grief gave me enough despair to resort to the ritual. I had to save my soul before I could find a way to bring my husband back no matter how long it took. The amnesia potion he took might offer an unexpected advantage. Perhaps he unwittingly left a way for me to call him back to me. God damn. If he can't remember me, or what I told him about the Creator and Riathalan, it could ease his return to the castle. Elliot, my love, I will do whatever it takes to save the both of us, even if it takes an eternity. We will find salvation amidst the end of all things. Know that I love you deeply, Elliot Vanderman, and I will never give up on bringing you back to me. I should be reading this. I ran away and drank an amnesia potion so she couldn't achieve her goal. I have to find her and stop her once and for all. I think... I don't think that's what I should be doing. I think... I should be uh, on my way out of here, actually. Well, a horror protagonist is gonna horror protagonist. I have a job to do. He's fine. What? I'm not going down there. He just despawned. Whoa! All is not as it seems.
Well, I've got plenty of laudanum. Cool, I can just leave. Great. Good. All right. Now we're getting even further into the uh, Amnesia Rebirth assets. I'm surprised... It, it, it doesn't look too bad. It, maybe it's just a little low res for me. Maybe it's my settings, but I, I think it looks good. I don't really believe in graphics aging badly. Oh no. You just copied the level design, didn't you? Whoa! Physics store. Is that the first one? Oy, oy, oy. Uh, hiding place. We've got a cinder box. We've got. What have we got? As I was looking around this sumptuous room, a peculiar enigma presented itself. An enigmatic door that had eluded my attempts at opening for what felt like an eternity. With a sigh of exasperation, I decided to take a short break by the ornate bath, its smooth, its surface smooth and pristine, reflecting the glow of the chandelier above. As I stared into its depths, a play of light drawn my attention to the three statues around the room. These stone figures, which had stood motionless for ages, yielded gracefully to my touch their ancient mechanisms responding to my gentle movements. As they gazed towards the bath, a faint click echoed in the room, and the door glided open effortlessly. 
revealing the way forward. I'm writing this note in a desire to preserve this solution and spare myself future tribulations. Took hold. I can now continue my exploration, eager to face whatever mysteries and marvels this mysterious tunnel has yet to reveal. Yeah. Fair enough. spot me as soon as I, I leave the door. Wait, where did I come from? Here. I don't know why I'm doing a little bit of a back and forth here. Chase music stopped. Let's wait a couple seconds. Alright. Now let's try this. Okay, shall we try this again? some of this out. I might have to cut some of this out just because I'm share, sh share scared of what YouTube will do to me if I show some of it, but some of these statues. That's that puzzle.
great. As you can see, I have quite changed since we last met. My soul has transcended this ephemeral body. When all things disappear, I will remain. But you, my beloved, you chose to run away for two years. I implanted those dreams within your mind, guiding you back to me like a lost lamb. I can save you, my love. I offer you salvation. I can free your soul from the chains of your body, and with the help of your pure, loving heart, I shall call the creator of all things at last. He who brought forth this universe with a cosmic explosion, and we shall disappear in the same way. Just hold still, my love. The pain you will endure will be nothing compared to the greatness you shall reach. <gasps> what? At last! Come to us, great intelligence. Let the universe be consumed by your magnificent wrath. May the stars be extinguished. May the void claim dominion on all things. Only you shall remain, O oh great intelligence. morning. the achievements, huh? Correct. Because I am an Amnesia The Dark Descent professional. I'm a pro gamer. I did find 42 items. I read all the notes, good. So what happens next? Oh, he's making a sequel. Amnesia, the Great Intelligence. I'll keep an eye out for that, then.
Awesome. All right. Well, that was Amnesia, the Grimoire. Overall, that was just a nice custom story, I guess. I, I don't really know what else to say about it. I, I think it was all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I, I guess that's the end of this video then. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.